Maggie, I am trying to get us out of here in one piece. Now, if you've got a better idea, great. I'm listening. Just tell me. How are you going to steal a car? I know the race car driver that I used to go out with. Well, he taught me the fine art of hot wiring. Ain't love, Graham? Okay. So I hot wire a car. You go to the marina, and Sam, the guy who owns this place, he's got a yacht there. Let me get this straight. You're going to steal a car. And sail us away to safety on a yacht, on the ocean, in the middle of a raging storm. I'll take my chances here. Thank you. Okay. By the time we get to the moon, the worst part of the storm will be over. Okay? It's not going to go on forever. Oh, Celia, why did you have to do this to me? Why couldn't you have just left me alone? Why couldn't I be home with my mother in a nice, warm, safe house? Or in a well-equipped hospital? I would love you to be home. I would love you to be in a hospital, but you're here. You're with me. So just... Deal with it, okay? This is reality. Do you know anything about boats? No, I don't know anything about boats, but considering the alternative, I will have to learn how to in a hurry. Ariane, too. Ariane, too. Does that sound like a yacht to you? Okay. I'm out of here. Okay. All right. Okay, now stay warm. Stay warm, but be cool. Julia. Okay, just relax. Just relax, okay? Do the breathing, okay? Right, got it? Okay. Now, Maggie, under no circumstances, no circumstances at all, are you to have that baby. Have you got that? I'll do my best. Okay. I'll be back here before you know. all the time. I admire your work very much. Thank you. John says the time he spends with you, working with you, has been one of the best times of his life. <laughs> well, I think I've taught him a few new experiences. There he is. Oh, Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Hi Liz. Hey, you, uh, you met him shut up, huh? Yes. Have you met the other special, unhappy little fellow in my life? Oh, I'm unhappy. I haven't had the pleasure, but he's very Oh, he's looking a lot like you, too. Yeah. He gets me comfortable in crowds. Can I have a nurse upstairs? Maybe she can tell me. That's a good idea. Okay. I should get you. Uh, well, I'll be along soon. I have some personal things. On this farm, sure. you have some things. Where can we talk? Upstairs? Okay, why don't you go along and I'll... Um, it's nap time, Slugger. Here we go. Come on. Here for North Carolina. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Maybe later. Well, I, I'm sorry. I think you really misinterpreted. I, I really didn't mean to be patronizing. No need to apologize. I know where you're coming from. Well, the tradition of politics and history supporting the arts goes back as far as the Romans. When the artists were Greek slaves. Well, then back to the time of the Medici. I support my own art. Well, that's great. I find that <laughs> very commendable. I don't need a rich family or uptown ladies with their noses in the air to toss me a bone. Ben's been able to support his own work uh, because he's not afraid of good old-fashioned hard work. Have you ever seen an artist with calloused hand? What kind of work do you do? I'm a welder. Oh. I work on oil rigs mostly. Well, that's great. I imagine you need a steady hand and a clean eye to do that. He's been all over. Alaska, New Orleans, and he paints what he sees. Well, I can't wait to see your work. And, of course, your other works, too. I paint the poor man's view. You may not be able to relate. Right. Uh, well, <laughs> if you two will excuse me, I have other guests to attend to. Yes. How much longer do I have to hang around here?
I, I didn't want to talk about it. So you took refuge in the comfort of my bed. I enjoyed being with you. You made me feel wanted, didn't you? And you didn't put a bunch of needs on me. And all of a sudden, we were lovers. And then and the thought of talking to you about Lizzie and my son made me real uncomfortable. That's understandable. And you kept telling me that, that I shouldn't read anything more into our relationship other than what was happening at the moment. So I guess I used that as a rationale to let him cry over. If I had known that you had a significant other in your life, I never would have pursued our personal relationship. I wanted to tell you. I was going to come But you me. didn't. I messed up. Royally. You've been a good friend to me, Richard. I, I never intended to deceive you or to hurt you. I'm sorry. Talk about a surprise party. I had no idea that you were going to be here. Well, if it weren't for Pat's last-minute invitation, I'd be home curled up in a good book. Well, this had to be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> 